future of space exploration is going to depend on humans and robots working together. During the past 50 years or so, robots have been, become increasingly sophisticated, but there are still some things that need to be developed, uh, some important capabilities that need to be improved. For example, most autonomous robots, when they run into a complex situation or have problems, they don't ask for help, they don't seek advice, and that's something they really need to do. This can be a problem when robots have to operate in extreme natural environments or in complex, difficult situations. Now that NASA's plan to return to the moon and establish a permanent human outpost, robot systems will need to overcome these limitations. In particular, humans and robots need to work closely with one another, supporting each other to reduce the risks of EVA and to improve productivity. And by doing so, this will increase future mission success. To meet this challenge, NASA is collaborating with universities and other government partners, developing new tools and techniques for human-robot teamwork. The research effort is called the Peer-to-Peer -Peer Human Robot Interaction Project. Our work team is guided by the principle that robots need to function as more than just simple tools. Robots need to work safely as teammates in partnership with humans. As partners, they need to be capable of interacting with and understanding their human peers. Consider how humans solve problems when they're working in teams. If one worker has problems, they'll ask other team members for help. Sometimes they'll get information, sometimes they'll get direct help. So it's through group communication that the team is really effective. Now, by the same token, when a robot is a member of the team, EVA1, this is Robo not requesting dialogue about panels. We want the robot to be able to ask the right questions and understand the answers that the humans give. Have you finished adjusting the panel? Robonaut response, no. I guess that scene was a little bit too big after all. Thank you. And by making robots proper team players like that, we believe that human-robot teams can be far more effective. In November of 2005, our team conducted a series of experiments, simulating a construction team working on the surface of the moon. The test involved five different team members all working simultaneously. One person remotely supported the simulated construction team from inside a habitat mock-up. Two people were wearing spacesuits performing the roles of EVA astronauts outside on the surface assembling the panels on a frame. It looks like the frame is ready to go for panel six as well when we're ready to do that. A humanoid robot from the Johnson Space Center called Robonaut worked as a seam welder putting those panels together. The fifth construction team member was the K-10 rover from the Ames Research Center. K-10 was responsible for inspecting those welded seams. One of the specific goals of the peer-to-peer -peer project is to develop human traits for robots. Spatial reasoning and language, for example, are important skills that astronauts have and that robots should have too. Current robots need to be remotely operated or given precise directions and coordinates to perform tasks. We are working to give robots the ability to understand and use spatial language. I think we should get a robot to come over and look at this seam here. Okay, copy that resource manager, I need a light. For example, if an astronaut is having trouble seeing while working on a structure, K-10, point your light to the left of panel 5. You can say to a robot, come over to my left, shine a light in front of me, and this is the same way that two humans work together to solve problems. We envision a broad role for peer-to-peer human-robot interaction in the future. The tools and techniques that we've developed during this past year are but a first step on the long road to developing truly effective human-robot teams. In the long run, we believe these innovations will play a key role in achieving NASA's future space exploration goals.